today's job I am doing a bit of a, a different one again um, so this house has got a solar edge three-phase inverter on the house and um, these clients want battery backup and they want the battery to be able to do seamless backup they want the battery to be able to island meaning go off grid um, and a couple of other features that I couldn't really achieve with the present setup. So the present setup is three phase and the battery that can offer all the features they want is uh, the Tesla Powerwall. But the one thing the Tesla Powerwall can't do is form a three phase grid. So in the event of a power outage, a three-phase inverter with a Tesla Powerwall will actually shut down um, because the Tesla Powerwall can only grid form single phase. So that left me with wondering what to do. I could have perhaps looked at a solar edge battery. I could have, but that didn't really offer the backup function or the uh, islanding feature. Um, Solar Edge do have a new battery, but I believe it still can't do one of those features. Um, I could have looked at a sun grow system, which would have ticked most of the boxes. However, I would have had to swap the Solar Edge inverter to sun grow inverter. But because this is a Solar Edge system, it has all the solar edge optimizers under the panels, which will only work with the solar edge system. So if we're going to any other uh, type of inverter um, other than solar edge, I'd have to remove all the panels and remove the optimizers so that it could work. But the problem there is, is the solar edge system is the perfect system for this house because there is a lot of shading and so with that shading, uh, Solar Edge is perfect because each panel can work independently um, and isn't affected by the shading as much. Uh, so what I've done is I've changed. Now this is a, a requirement of Western Power. So there's some requirements that Western Power put upon us that restrict what we can do. Um, I couldn't put a single phase five kilowatt inverter on this house because Western Power won't allow us to. Um, so what I've done is we're going to do an inverter changeover from the three phase inverter to the single phase energy hub inverter. And what we're also going to do is the property has no three phase loads. There's nothing on there that needs three phase. The house can easily be single phase. So what I've done is got Western Power out to change the property from three phase to single phase. That's just happened now. That's They've literally just left. Um, so there's our new meter, single phase. That's our old meter panel down there that was three phase. So now the property is single phase, which is perfect. So now I can install my single phase inverter and the Tesla Powerwall will work perfectly with that single phase inverter um, because it can support that inverter in a grid outage. So they can pretty much remain off grid indefinitely because when the power goes out, the Powerwall is going to support that single phase inverter and keep it active. So the inverter will keep supplying power to the house and it will also recharge the battery. Um, I'll do a separate video on the Tesla Powerwall because of the, just to um, clarify what it can and can't do. But um, this is gonna work perfectly for these clients. So Western Power have just left. Um, that's all done. We're now a single phase property, not three phase. I've gotta make some changes in the switchboard to put all the loads onto a single phase and uh, swap the inverter over. I'm also adding three new LG panels. So we're gonna boost the solar capacity up a little bit. Um, not much at the moment because I don't think we're gonna really need it. However, with the Energy Hub inverter, that can 
be oversized by 200%, I think it is. So we can put a massive amount of solar on that, um, which is awesome. So that's it's a lot more than what this one can take. This one can only take, I think, what have we got? Oh, I can't read that. I think about six and a half. No, sorry. I think seven and a half. Seven and a half kilowatts. Whereas the Energy Hub one can take 10 kilowatts, I believe, off the top of my head. I could be wrong. Um, so what that means is that if they don't have enough solar generation in the future, if their loads become bigger, electric vehicle, air conditioning, pool, things like that, you never know, they can add more solar to it and they've got that room for expansion. Uh, so it will all work perfectly together. All right, so I'm gonna get into it and I'll show you another little video once it's all done and up and running. Cheers. Right, hey, back on this job now and it's finished. It's all been commissioned and up and running. So there's our single phase solar edge inverter. Switchboard all done, all gone to single phase. Uh, those with a sharp eye will notice there's no energy meter here. Uh, the energy meter is now integrated into the inverter, uh, which is a cool feature of Solar Edge. And there's our Tesla gateway and the Tesla battery. Fits in beautifully. So now the clients can have all the features they want. They can have UPS backup. They can remain off grid indefinitely and the inverter will island so the inverter will be active the whole time that the grid's down thanks to the tesla powerwall all right thanks for watching cheers